Hello everybody, this is Echo Simpson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I know you've been watching my channel for some time now, talking about a civil Pan-African village and everything that has to do with traveling or living or you know relocating to the motherland. Um, there's a particular video that I know most of you are expecting to see or to watch and i'm very fortunate to be in the premises of the paramount chief of Asebu traditional area you know of Asebu, definitely you've been watching videos for myself you know uh reading from the internet listening to the news and all that uh today we're here to talk about the beautiful story of Asebu, and then we include Asebu pan-african project and then any other issues surrounding this project that is really ongoing. So, um, like I said, I'm very fortunate. I have to be uh, be discreet when I'm, you know, speaking to Nana. I don't have to say certain words, you know, certain actions and all that. So, Nana, if I do that, forgive me. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Okay. Um, first of all. Can you give us a brief introduction of yourself to everybody who is watching you right now? Right. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, it's been a long time. Yes, right. yes sure. Uh, I'm called Okitechi Amepi the Seventh. Uh, I'm a professor of the University of Science and Technology. I teach um, project management, sustainability science. Yeah. So, and I'm the paramount chief of Asebu Tradition Area. Um, Asebu Tradition Area. Uh, consists of about 28 communities, wow. towns, towns and villages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some are quite light towns, others mm -hmm. are yeah. uh, Zampur, Amosma, Mori, Akroma, mm -hmm. where we are now, um, Putibu and others. Yeah. I mean, there are quite a number of them. Uh, the traditional capital is the Asebu uh, Mantelu. That, where we have the Pan African village oh, project, okay. project yeah. okay. uh, the, the whole tradition area is called Asebu tradition area, mm -hmm. but uh, where we have the uh, Paramount capital mm -hmm. head, it's called Amantundu. 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 Which yes. is in Asebu. That is Asebu, is Asebu itself. Okay. The name of Asebu, where Pan African village is, is okay. Amantundu. Amantundu. Asebu, Amantundu. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that is the traditional capital uh, of, of uh, Asebu tradition area. Well, um, I am I am learning that today. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we have Mori as mm -hmm. as the Chidam Chidam division. Okay. Uh, Amosma as the the right uh, Nifa division. Nifa division. Uh, Bebia as Benku. Okay. Adrantin is Putibu okay. and, and others. These are wings of, of the divisions. In the uh, ancient days, these are the military wings. Okay. That are okay. protectors. Okay. Okay. And, yeah, so these are the, the, the groups that we deal with. Um, so that is briefly, but uh, Asebu people, Asebu is a, has a very long history, mm -hmm. uh, dating back to Exodus in the, in the Bible, when the uh, Egyptians were, no, when the Israelites mm -hmm. were living in uh, Egypt, okay. uh, the fellow sent his army to bring them back uh, to, to Egypt. Uh, and you know all know the story. When yeah. they got to the Red Sea, uh, the, the sea was yeah. parted, and then the Israelites went through. When the Egyptians attempted, mm -hmm. the the sea came together and swept them away. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, but there was a group of soldiers who were behind. Mm -hmm. uh, probably is the Chidom okay. uh, ring. And when they got there, this incident had, had taken place. Okay. So the leader didn't want to go back to Egypt to tell Pharaoh about this sad story. Mm -hmm. So he decided to find his way through um, the desert. Um, and so to Chad, to yeah. Chad, Nigeria, came to Benin, and then from Benin they took to the sea and, and came to Asebu, uh, I mean, Mori. We, we entered Asebu to Mori. And this, this is about uh, several centuries ago. Yeah, but, right. yeah, but so if you are talking about Ghana, uh, probably we can claim to be the aborigines of, <laughs> of this country. Yeah, maybe with some few other people mm -hmm. uh, around, but. The, the core uh, owners of, of this country is from the trees uh, to, to Asebu. Yes, wow. uh, in the olden times, Asebu's land stretches from the coast up to Fry River. Mm -hmm. we, we were sharing boundaries with Asante. Okay. Yeah, but that was the olden times. Uh, we had a very strong, uh, mysterious person leading yeah. the group, mm -hmm. and he was called Amefi, uh, the reg regent. Mm -hmm. uh, Amefi. He came with the, the group, and uh, he had a brother called Preja. Mm -hmm. 
Kweja, mm. and then the sister Amentua. Kweja mm. uh, started at Mori, mm. and uh, Amentui, and then the sister came up to Asibu okay. and established the kingdom mm. there, and fought several battles, and um, I mean, conquered so many lands and, and so on. Uh, eventually, uh, we don't know how he went away. Mm. Yeah, the oral history says that he vanished and, okay. and all sort of things. Others also claim that he suffered guinea worms and died mm. and so on, but no one knows where. Uh, he, if, if he died, we should have found out yeah, where found he it, was yeah. buried. Mm. But this never happened. We don't know where, but the indication is that he just ran because this is such an odd, extraordinary person. Yeah. We, since, um, I don't think Ghana has had any, any, any any figure, story yeah, like any that. story like that, like the Asemu story. So in short, this is um, how Asemu came to be. And we have been there for a very long time. Before the Fantis came from Teshimani, okay. and waged war against us, uh, we fought the uh, Fantis. And then the Abras and all those, mm. yeah, anyway. And some uh, Penetrated into our territories and most of the land we occupy yeah. uh, are civil lands and all that. Uh, but that's, that belongs to history. Yeah. 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 But now, here we are with a yeah. civil state yeah. with about 28 communities. communities. And, uh, we are, uh, I'm also learning, I know you're also learning, you are thinking of moving to uh, Ghana to settle in Asebu, particularly. This is some of the stories that you'll be hearing when you finally get here. Nana, um, 2019, the president said, He's inviting the African diaspora family or the communities to come back yeah. to the motherland. Yeah. And then within a short time, we heard this news that uh, the paramount chief of Asebu traditional area yeah. is giving out 5,000 acres of free land. Yeah. What is the 5,000 acres of free land for? And what inspired you to say, uh, well, my brothers and sisters are coming. So yeah. this is what I want to do to yes. help. Yeah, fantastic. I, I took that inspiration from President's invitation to our, our brothers and sisters in diaspora. Okay. And like you said earlier on, he went to the United States of America and declared as a year of return, mm -hmm. um, simply inviting our brothers and sisters to come back home after about 400 years of yeah. um, abolition of slavery. Mm -hmm. they, they still be hanging up there. Yeah. And some are very much frustrated because they don't know their roots. Mm. Uh, they are blacks, uh, but find themselves in some strange land, and uh, people are not respecting them mm. and all that. And this is kind of frustration. Mm. If you don't know your roots, uh, my, my man, you are lost. Yeah, lost. Yes. 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 Because you don't have culture mm. and all that. You don't have language. Mm. It's quite a, uh, something very beautiful. Yeah, so President went there and um, declared uh, 2019 as year of um, return. Mm. Uh, so when he came back, I met with him and said, um, yes, our brothers and sisters have been coming to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And they come to the castle, yeah. maybe, and then they go back. Mm -hmm. Maybe stay some few days, and, and they are gone. So if you're asking them to come back, uh, what are they coming back to? Mm -hmm. I mean, so we should have some concrete things, some steps taken yeah. to make them feel at home mm -hmm. if they, they, they happen to come. So I will offer land. Um, initially, I didn't even think of about 5,000 acres yeah. land or something, yes. But I will offer land for our brothers who want to um, build their own structures mm -hmm. and, and stay permanently in okay. this country. We we'll offer them the opportunity. Our president was excited. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. there was a final first mm -hmm. at a time. So uh, during that time, uh, our president made it part of his speech. Oh, okay. And, and announced to everybody that I have offered this uh, amount of land. Um, somewhere at Asebu. Mm -hmm. So people who want to come to contact me. Uh, mm -hmm. So I thought you were joking. I thought you were this kind yeah. of uh, something. Yes, I, I meant it, but I didn't okay, know, but how, I know how it, yeah, how, how it, will, it, will, it will develop into. And then suddenly, I, I started receiving invitations to come to the United States and explain mm -hmm. and all that. So I traveled to states and posted by the, uh, the council at, at New York, okay. and so we had a meeting at our council mm -hmm. and, and, and New, New York, oh, yeah. and uh, yes, so these are ambassadors, consulates, yeah. were all there. We had a very fruitful discussions, and um, we had quite a number of yeah. uh, <laughs> that were coming to that meeting. They were, I saw the, the energy, mm -hmm. the excitement among them, and said, yes, I, I think hit the right thing yeah. uh, on the head, so 
to work on it. So I came back to Ghana some few days later. I had another invitation. I think I have a couple of invitations. So I went to United States a couple of times oh, okay. at a wow. time and then interacted with mm. them, explained the issues with them. The short of it is that we offered a land to give opportunity to brothers and sisters who are coming okay. to uh, really settle. You okay. can't just bring them and let them hang around. Mm -hmm. They should find a place to settle. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to have a community so that they can all be at one yeah. place, yeah. so that they can have interaction, even though um, they are, so that we can build our, our, our communities. And so that was one. The, the second thing was that I wanted to also take advantage of these um, people coming home mm -hmm. uh, for them to bring, bring um, bring jobs, jobs you know, create, okay. come and create, bring industries and mm -hmm. come and create jobs. Okay. And then also bring their knowledge you know, yeah. back home uh, to support us in our development. Mm -hmm. You know, Ghana, if you compare Ghana to the United States, we are miles apart yeah. in development. They have 100 years. Yeah, several, several, yeah. My, you know. And these are our brothers coming. Mm -hmm. we, we have been there, we have acquired knowledge, yeah. some skills. skills, some have money also, they yeah. want to invest and so yeah. on. So why? Take advantage of those and let them come, invite them to come. So that was also one thing. And I wanted uh, people to come to establish schools, okay. establish clinics and so on, so that my people will benefit, will benefit from yeah. that, yes. If you have a very good school uh, situated at, at uh, Pan-African village, I know um, as able people will have benefit of yeah. it and then also attend. So these are all the motivations that, uh, but the real motivation was that our brothers and sisters must find their way back home, mm -hmm. and when they come, they must find a place to stay. Okay, great. I love I love the part where you said, um, so that my people will also enjoy some of the benefits or the skills that these people are coming with. It means that you are not only thinking about you; you are thinking no, about no, your different. your yeah, people. Sure. Now, in your speech, you said people started contacting you and all that. Now. This comes to a point where people would like to know, how do we get access to that land? Yeah. What do we do? What do I have to provide yeah. to get access to that land? Right. Uh, that, that's a good question. Uh, really, the land is virtually free. Okay. We, we are offering the free land. Okay. But because it was a virgin land, we haven't done anything like um, putting the person into a scheme okay. so that you can know what it is. So we needed money mm -hmm. to do the scheme, mm -hmm. um, the planning of, of, the, of the area. Again, we needed money um, for them to get their documentation. Yeah. And that includes indentures, mm -hmm. um, their receipts of payment, mm -hmm. I mean, they receive. and then allocation uh, papers. Paper, yes. uh, and all this cost quite a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And again, on the land, we have my people already farming on it. Yeah. They have their crops and so on. Yeah. So we needed to compensate mm -hmm. them. And therefore, we decided to, even in the first uh, instance, we the first page, we were charging 70, $700. Yeah, $700. And quickly, I, I, I realized that we were running into serious yeah. difficulties yeah. with that. So, and also, at yeah, that time, the, the plot was 80 by 80, 80 by or 80, something. Yeah. Yes. So now we said, okay, let's do it 100 by 80 or so, yeah. and then increase the, the, fee, the fee, so that we can also get something to cover okay. some of the costs we are doing. So really, what they are paying, uh, we're asking them, are uh, paying service fee, mm -hmm. uh, that is about 1,200, uh, and then the plots are equal for the same plots, mm -hmm. uh, 100 by, by 80. Yeah. So you just pay your money into a bank account and show us your receipts. Yeah. Uh, the bank will also inform us mm -hmm. that such a person has paid this amount into your, into your account. As soon as it hits our account, uh, we process it and let you know that you have received your money and we started the documentation for you. Uh, if you do that and we get your receipt, uh, in fact, uh, Mr. Obed Aqua is the uh, director of operations. Mm -hmm. so he monitors everything. Okay. Uh, we have now now established a secretariat okay. for Pan African Village and manned by uh, Florence, Florence uh, yeah. at, at the Paris. And so they inform her, and then we start the process of preparing the document. There are a few things I need to explain there. You can get your uh, receipt immediately. You pay, mm -hmm. and that will be issued. 
you can get your allocation paper maybe three days, five days. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can issue you with uh, allocation paper. Allocation. But the indenture takes some time. Yeah. And that is where some people don't really understand. Understand. Yes. Uh-huh. And I'm glad that you are yes, talking yes, about yes. this. Yes. yes, it's not a straightforward thing that mm-hmm. you pay today and tomorrow you get your indenture. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Uh, it needs to be prepared. It goes through a process. Okay. So the final process is at the, at the court. Mm-hmm. The high court uh, will have to... Um, what do you call it? Um, confirm, but mm-hmm. this, this this document uh, correct, and then put your stamps on, mm-hmm. and that takes not less than about three months. Three months uh-huh. okay, to, to get it done. Okay. So I will entreat all our brothers and sisters coming in. Please, sister, patience with us. Mm-hmm. You both must get your indenture, yes. but it takes some time. Maybe mm-hmm. a month, two, three months, you will get it. Mm-hmm. But as for your allocation paper, you can get it immediately. Okay. Uh, your receipt, you mm-hmm. can get immediately. And your allocation paper is even more important, important than, than the indenture later. because that tells you the plot number mm-hmm. and the street you are on yeah. and all that. So with that, it's as good as as, as your indenture. indenture. So don't panic if you haven't received your indenture. <laughs> so long as you have your allocation paper, uh, you are fine. Okay. And you, you will deal with that. Yeah. So you pay and then we, we start processing it and we get your document. We, if, you, if you are here, we can go and show you your plot, and then you start the documentation with you. And uh, now, uh, people were asking, can we register the land now? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. Oh, of course, let me even say this. We, we are given the land for 55 years. 55 and that years. 55 years is a government requirement. It's, okay. not, it's not for me. Okay. Um, foreigners. At the moment, we, the, the government will guide them as foreigners. Mm-hmm. And as a foreigner, you cannot be given land over 55 years, okay. it must be within 55 okay. years, but it's renewable. Okay. After 55 years, we can renew for another okay. uh, 55 years, and we continue yeah. to renew. Mm-hmm. Nobody will say that. Um, after uh, 55 yeah, after 55 years, come and no, 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 no. Yeah. We don't do that in, in Ghana. <laughs> no, no. It's after, yeah, I want you to say that again because yeah. a lot of people. They've been asking, yeah. so after 55 years, what do I do? Yeah. So Nana is saying that you can renew it. Yeah, the, 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 the renewal process, how is it like? Oh, it's straightforward. I mean, it's, it's even automatic. And yeah. nobody will even come and ask you, uh, ask you that, oh, okay, it's five, uh, 55 years, so come and renew Yeah, I, you go around Ghana and check uh, how many people are being asked to renew their yeah. their product? It's, 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 I mean, it's there. It's just documentation, documentation and uh, yeah. but of course it's there. But if you if that happens, you just have to go and say that you you deal with the with the, with the chief at a mm. time, and then they, they will do the new one for you. So it's, it's as simple as that. So with the registration, yes, can they re- re-register in in their own? Yes. Name? So now. Uh, previously, uh, before before this week, mm-hmm. it was difficult for anybody to go to land commission and say, "I want to register my land." Okay. Because at that time, we've sent the scheme before area scheme to the district assembly. Mm-hmm. It's a district assembly that gives approval. Okay. That this area has been laid out and then um, the approval of it, okay. so that people can now take part in there mm-hmm. and work with it. But because of the nature of the pan African development. Project. Yeah. We went ahead. We we started doing this doing it before. before. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But now I'm happy to inform everybody that just this week we have received the approval from the district assembly. Wow. Uh, they have approval of, of the scheme, mm-hmm. and uh, they have sent me my copies. Okay. And they have taken copies to the lands commission. Okay. So now anybody who wants to now register the land in, in his name can do so. Okay. Because uh, now. They will, they will need the carastra mm-hmm. and then the, the uh, together with the well, okay. the uh, land commission will do the registration for them. So I will prefer that those all those who want to register, register can pass their document through our secretariat okay. at the office so that we can gather everything. Okay. We will go and do the negotiation with them. Mm-hmm. In fact, the registration as for the registration is not my cost. Yeah. 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 Individuals who want to do can can go ahead go ahead. because you can you can say that I'm not registering anything mm-hmm. and you are you are you are okay, okay with your indenture with your allocation paper that's fine but those who still will want to do registration that will um, be at their own cost um, I'm asking that everybody passes through the secretariat we will correct them we go to uh, lands commission mm-hmm. and do a bulk registration okay. and that will be fine. And when you get that and you are ready also to build your infrastructure, mm-hmm. 
uh, that must also be approved by the district assembly. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to also send your drawings and everything to the district assembly for approval. Mm -hmm. I also want to say that people who are ready can pass to us okay. and we will do that for them. Okay. So that one, we will know that the, what, the amount they are charging is the right amount the right of money. Okay. And then things can also be smooth, okay. and that people will not be tossed uh, up and down for doing that. So that's uh, uh, about it. Most people who are watching now, they are very happy because mm -hmm. they are getting all the answers to the questions yeah. that they've been uh, trying to ask. Yeah. Now, with the 5,000 acres of land, I have personally seen people living there now. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Len yes. and a lot of people. Yeah. How many plots do you think so far you've given out, out yeah. of the 5,000 Okay, um, we have uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of plots already played out. Mm -hmm. But for my last check, um, parents tells me we have about four hundred people who have acquired plots today. Wow. As as at today, as at today, four hundred. And some do take like one plot or two plots yes. because they are coming with their families. Yes. Um, initially we said one man, one plot, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Yeah, but people have found a very clever way of <laughs> and so they say, Oh, I'm, I'm we are coming with all our family. Our family. We have about five of them, so each one of us yeah. will the front. I can't refuse them. Yeah. So yeah, eventually I have to give in and say, Okay, if you are family and you are registered on individual names, yeah. you will do it. But if individual is registered about two or three, no. Aha. No. Uh -huh. So that that has okay. been the case, yeah. Okay. So I know people have been um acquiring the land for their relatives mm -hmm. and even friends, friends okay. and others, uh, yeah so we, we are able to do that for them okay yeah. great one yeah now talking about infrastructure yeah um i sometimes represent people yeah. when they want to get a land or anything right. and when we are sending items supplies to the place during this rainy season yeah, it's really tough. difficult it's tough, yeah. so road and then electricity and water yeah. what are we doing to make sure that those who are coming would have these things sorted out for them. Yeah. Should it be a collaboration thing, or it should be that of Asibu or the individual person must yeah. do it? Cool. Uh, this, this, this is one of the challenges mm -hmm. we are facing. Infrastructure is the, is, the, uh, is the duty of the government. Okay. It's, it's the government that should see our tree that we have infrastructure in those areas. And that was why I was dealing with the government, so okay. the government officials, so that. Uh, they can support us with the infrastructure, the roads, the streets, the water, the electricity. Uh, but you know, government has uh, uh, so many children to take care yeah. of and so many things uh, occupying their uh, yeah. So we haven't received that support mm -hmm. from the even though they've sent quite a number of uh, government officials okay. to the press to have a look. Uh, even the whole of the board mm -hmm. of sorry, uh, tourism board, tourism board yes. yeah, they have come there. Okay, uh, I've been to with them some time ago. Um, we've sent people from president's office a mm -hmm. couple of times to mm -hmm. come and have a look and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they know they know the project and they know what to do. But I, I didn't want to sit down and fold mm -hmm. our arms and say, Okay, uh, government is not coming, so I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I have myself initiated the, the I started the electricity. Okay. So I sent the, the power to the place. Okay. And initially there was no there was uh, no, no power electricity, no power at the place at all. I, I paid uh, that time about ten thousand wow. dollars to to get the, the power to the place. Mm -hmm. So now we have the we have the power uh, to to the place. Okay. Um, and then I paid some money to contractors to do the main road. Okay. From the from main campus road to, to to the place, okay. so that people can enter okay. and then also find their way to that place. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, these contractors are really done with the yeah. project. They, they are not very fast, and uh, I, I will, I'll see to it that that is done. Uh, we haven't tackled water in, okay. in any way, so that that's it. And so yes, we have a challenge, mm -hmm. and um, it's likely maybe within this week. I have audience with the government okay. uh, about, about the project. Mm -hmm. My focus is to impress upon them to come to our support okay. uh, yeah, in terms of infrastructure. That would be great. That would be great. And I know you are also liking this. Um, the, uh, as part of the challenges, this is one thing that has, um, I have seen that our stable project is a positive, beautiful, credible project that you as a chief, as a paramount chief, together with your elders, have come together to yeah. do this. Yeah. Um, one challenge that I have 
face or that we are facing is they are, there's a there's a certain family yeah. that is claiming that a part of the Cebu Pan African project the land belongs to them. I think you are the best person to uh, explain to the people because yeah. a lot of people do call me echo hold on with my project echo yeah. what is going on am i going to lose my land echo yeah, so no. now yeah what is really going on yeah echo, that's, that's interesting um yeah it's, it's most unfortunate that this this uh, cropped up uh because before we started the project we did a lot of stakeholder um, interaction with all the family members that are stable all the youth and all that yeah so uh, we were certain that we are not going to have any challenge mm -hmm. uh, with us. Nobody raised an issue yeah. uh, about ownership of land there because uh, we have, have uh, in Ghana we have two major forms of land ownership. Okay. We have the Aloja uh, land owner mm -hmm. and uh, for the whole of Asebo, you go to any village in Asebo and ask them whose land is this. Mm -hmm. They will tell you it's a Memphis land. Okay. Everybody, all the, all the 28 communities I mentioned mm -hmm. know that um, the land belongs to the, the stool, the stool, the Mark Mark stool, so, uh, which I'm the head of it now. So the stool holds the aloja ownership of the land. And then we have farmers, uh, sorry, yes, uh, communities, mm -hmm. farmers also settling in other places and all that. And they have used factory uh, ownership mm -hmm. of the land, which means that they can do anything with the land, okay. but they cannot sell the, sell land, the land or lease the land without my, my knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Even though people are uh, uh, behind me, they are doing all sorts of things. But that is the ownership thing. Mm -hmm. So coming back to specifically to uh, Pan African mm -hmm. uh, we I, I I consulted the leadership of a civil community and we had land that were free. Mm -hmm. Um that land we had a couple of settlement there. Okay. So some years back, mm -hmm. several years back. And these were not from Asim. They are not uh, citizens of Asim. Okay. They were from Anomabo mm -hmm. and then I think Kusukum. Okay. But uh, they were not uh, serving the pharmacy. So uh, my predecessors, I think I might be the third or the second, started it. And then we drove them out okay. uh, of, of the prince. Okay. So, and then I might be shared the area uh, between Asebu, Amantendo, mm -hmm. uh, Odebu, mm -hmm. uh, I think Bebia, and then Onyaba. Onyaba. Okay, yeah. So, uh, quite, you see, uh, it was a fight. I mean, and people died mm -hmm. uh, wow. on the part in uh, taking the people out of the land. So that place became, um, say, stool land. Stool land. Particularly. Okay. Uh, it's not, the whole place is for, uh, the whole Asebu area is stool land. But that became uh, um, uh, a Memphis own uh, kind of. Area, mm, okay. Uh -huh. So that was put under the stool directly, and okay. nobody can do anything. But what they did was to ask people to can take advantage of the yeah, land there and do their farming. Mm -hmm. So we know that people, the families there, I mean, farming on it. So when we started the project, nobody raised an issue. But I think recently, um, a new uh, uh was installed okay. in, for that that community. Uh, sorry, that's uh, Abusia. Aqua or something, yeah. Yeah. and then he started agitating that uh, they have their farm lands there and they have their land. They didn't say uh, they have lands there. I said, okay, so let's let's sort it out. I mean, let me know the nature of ownership that we have there. Uh -huh. Then, strangely enough, he said, is there no other owner of that okay. piece of land? I said, no, that cannot be possible. You cannot be a owner. Because it's the Amenfi who came and settled here. Mm -hmm. And the one who settled here has the Aroja ownership. Mm -hmm. Anybody coming has used to factory ownership. So, uh, really, it can't be that. So, just be clear that, okay, you have to and then let's see uh, if that's the case. Then, if there's compensation that you want to give. Uh, we have an arrangement in Asim that the fine family land is taken. We pay compensation for them. We give them percentage okay. of the of the uh, what the sales of yeah the sales of the land and so on. So we will do this for you. So say, no no no, uh, they are the uh, owner of the land, so they will have to uh, allocate the land and all that. So no, it can't be possible. None of the family in this committee is doing that, so we can't do that. And so there were uh, people who came in, and now people who see came in to try to resolve it. 
they, they didn't cooperate. They had a press conference in Accra. Wow. Yeah, some press conference in Accra and said all sorts of things. Uh, but uh, I had wanted to take them on. Mm. My lawyer advised that I should ignore it. I couldn't pursue this. So we, we, we didn't mind that. And then um, uh, shortly after that press conference, they went to court. Okay. I said, oh, so that is beautiful. Let, 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 let's go to court. And it's then we yeah, right. started there. And so um, to cut matters short, the case is still in court. We, we haven't reached anybody. Yeah. Okay. The but I just want to stress that um, even though they are putting claim to some piece of land, it's just a small portion okay. of uh, Pan African village. Okay. A Pan African village covers a very large area, uh, and they are claiming about 100 acres or something, mm -hmm. which we are even disputing. Uh, they can't have 100 acres. Yeah. It's never true. But that will be proved at the court, and we'll let them know. But we have a bigger area that we have. So I have asked my team not to do any allocation within, within the area of, uh, the, of dispute. Uh, so let's go to the free areas and then we are doing the free areas. So I want to assure everybody, that even if you have bought on that piece of land that they are claiming, nobody can take your property from, from you. Yes. Uh -huh. But we, we have majority of people out of that area. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't affect okay. it doesn't affect them. So people can continue to do their, their projects and, and without any any problem. And so I think for, for that issue, that is what I can say about it. Anana has already explained the issue with um, a part. So if this this whole of my hand is a, a single Pan African village, it is just this part that has an issue. Yeah. So uh, we are not expecting you to be going out there saying a civil Pan-African village is a scam. Yeah. Somebody made a video um, without proper yeah. uh, research and he was saying all sort of things. Yeah. And I think that, listen, I think that this is an advice to all of us. I think that if we want Africa to grow, we want Africa to develop, some of these videos that other people to, they do to disgrace uh, a beautiful project which is ongoing, I think it is it is bad. You would agree with me. Put it up as a comment and let me know. If we have to always be happy to see a, a brother from the diaspora making negative videos and saying, I say, well, nobody should come and buy a land in Ghana. Yeah. Why do you, yeah. even this this part of our Cebu yeah. project, not the whole of our Cebu, yeah. and then they go about saying, don't buy, don't come and buy a land in Ghana. Yeah. You are destroying Ghana, but yeah. we will never agree to, we will never allow that. So positivity is what we are looking for. Nana, the next five years for yeah. Asebu Pan African Village. How do you see it? Yeah, so the next five yeah, years. Yeah, before I say that, I have I've seen they've sent me the, this this video, this second video from this gentleman. Mm. I think this gentleman came to Ghana some time ago. Yes. And then he left for Tanzania or something yes. for some reason mm. best known to him. Mm. I want to warn him that okay. I mean I don't have any problem with any, but he should not interfere with our project. Mm. If he's in Tanzania and Tanzania is, is, uh, is heaven, it's heaven to him. Uh, we also have our heaven in Ghana. Yeah. We are doing our best to help our brothers and sisters who are coming. Mm -hmm. Let everybody understand that I cannot deport anybody. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't do that. I simply cannot do that. If, if I cannot give those land, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not doing it alone. We have the elders of, of the community who are in support of the, they see this project a huge um, um, potential mm -hmm. for, for not only for Cebu but for Ghana yeah. as a country. So um, we are not asking everybody to come to Ghana. Mm -hmm. We can decide to go anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. So you go and, and leave us alone because we have we have not come to Tanzania to attack your project, mm -hmm. what you are doing. So please, this and, and you must respect, look, I want the diaspora to understand that in Ghana we respect our chiefs. Yeah. You cannot get up and say anything. This gentleman must respect himself and respect our culture and elders. Uh -huh. Now to the question, what I see Pan Africa? Yes, yes, I think it's, it's, it's going to be a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Pan African Bridge is going to see in Ghana, if not a simple per se, but the future of, of this country in a very dramatic way. And I'm just praying that you, you get the support of government, get the resources. This is not a political project. This is for, for the country. Yeah. So whether new government comes or whatever, I want the support of whatever government in power to do help us with the infrastructure and get things. And I know our brothers and sisters are also prepared to come in mm -hmm. with their expertise, mm -hmm. with their money, with their skills, and then also open up uh, Asebu and then open up Santa Region. 
Look, we have uh, located this project at Asebu, a central part of central region. Yes. And it's very much accessible uh, to Cape Coast, to Takrade, to Kumasi, mm. to Accra. In fact, we are uh, we are in center and the accessibility is superb. And we can reach Cape Coast in some 15 minutes time. Yeah. Uh, Takrade is some few hours. Uh, Kumasi is the same. So we are the right place. And uh, I, I feel in the next five years, Everybody will clap for for a civil pan African day. Great, beautiful. So Nana, uh, before we end this, I just want one minute. I want you to look into the camera and talk to anybody who is willing yeah. to move to a civil, or anybody who is bought land, or just send a message to the African diaspora community all over the world. Yeah. So uh, our African, yes. The beauty of pan African village is that we are not getting people just from US. Yeah. We are getting people from UK. From the Caribbean, uh, even from Africa. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen some people from Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah, yes. Ka and Cameroon here. and all yeah, that. Cameroon, they yeah. all coming here. Mm -hmm. So look, this is this is a universal project mm -hmm. for all uh, anybody black, mm -hmm. I know. And uh, so we we saying that feel free. We have offered this uh, land uh, for you, uh, gifted this land. Come and take advantage. If you really want to relocate to Africa. Ghana is your home. You come, you welcome you, we open our hands, and we want to welcome you back home. And I thank everybody, all those who have already taken the step to come in. I said earlier on that you have about 400 people already yeah. taking their land. People have built their houses and they are living there, yeah. and nobody is worrying them. Mm -hmm. So please come and let's build our nation. Let's build our motherland. Thank you very much for listening to us. Yeah.